after Elon Musk cancelled the Twitter deal. The board of Twitter responded to this decision with a lawsuit. As a result, Elon Musk and Twitter hired the best and most influential law firms in the USA for the upcoming lawsuit. And Elon Musk responded to this lawsuit and mocked this move and explained why this is exactly what he wanted all this time. He said that he easily outplayed the board of Twitter like weak chess players and it's a checkmate time now. With that, because of all this mess, Twitter shares are just plummeting and the company is a tough situation. And what's worse, it's only the beginning of lawsuits and legal headaches for Twitter. Many lawyers are advising Twitter to lower the price and sell the company for much less as soon as possible. This is a complicated situation, so let's explain it. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has taken a swipe at Twitter, who has threatened to sue the American billionaire over the termination of the $44 billion deal. Elon Musk mocked Twitter in a tweet, saying the social networking site had claimed that they would not have to reveal bot information. However, now they will. Elon published a montage of photographs of him laughing, with four statements he made on the Twitter agreement. Elon explained how he played a chess game and outplayed them easily. Elon said, they said I couldn't buy Twitter, then they wouldn't disclose bot information. And now they want to force me to buy Twitter in court, but now they have to disclose bot info in court. Checkmate. The tweet has over 265.6 thousand likes and 34.5 thousand retweets as of now. Elon Musk claimed that Twitter has actively resisted and obstructed his information rights, as outlined in the agreement, according to a letter he sent to Twitter's head of legal, policy and trust, Vijaya Gaddy. He ordered Twitter to provide documentation regarding its testing procedures in order to support the company's assertion that bots and fraudulent accounts account for less than 5% of the platform's active user base, which has been stated in public statements for years. After Elon Musk stated he had terminated his $44 billion takeover of the firm in pre-market trade Monday, Twitter shares fell sharply and it is not looking good for the social media company. In the United States, Twitter stock fell by 7% in pre-market trading, according to Markets Insider, implying a market value loss of almost $2 billion from Friday's close. Brett Taylor, Twitter's board chair, said the company would pursue legal action in the Delaware Court of Chancery to enforce the agreement. As mentioned, Musk mocked Twitter management in a post on Monday, expressing his dissatisfaction with the company's handling of the transaction. However, a Twitter representative ignored to comment on Musk's meme. The two parties are likely set for a protracted court battle, according to lawyers. Musk could also be faced with paying a $1 billion breakup fee for walking away and, in addition, interference from the SEC, who can come up with some additional fines for Musk that can be more serious than anyone can imagine. Elon Musk's desire to significantly renegotiate the $54.20 price he had agreed to pay for Twitter was most likely the reason for his departure from the transaction, according to Richard Windsor, creator of the research firm Radio Free Mobile. As of Friday, Twitter shares were valued 32% less than the deal price set by Musk. While Windsor is not a Twitter shareholder, he told CNBC that if he was, he would sell immediately. If you look at some of where the technology sector has gone over the last couple of months, you could put Twitter's valuation somewhere between $13 billion to $15 billion, which is around about roughly 50% below even where the share price is today, Windsor told CNBC. As it fights Elon Musk over his decision to abandon the $44 billion takeover, Twitter has hired an influential New York law firm. According to a source familiar with the discussions, who was granted anonymity to discuss confidential matters, Twitter executives engaged Wachtell, Lipton, Rosen & Katz LLP, which specializes in merger and acquisition law, to handle an anticipated lawsuit against Musk. Twitter is facing the worst-case scenario as Musk abandoned the company, according to reports. The person added that the crew intends to sue in Delaware's Chancery Court as soon as this week, where many corporate fights are fought. Twitter attorneys believe that they have a good case that Musk has breached the terms of his April takeover agreement, which calls for him to pay $54.20 per share if he sells more than 5% of Tesla's stock. Twitter shares closed on Friday at less than $37. But at the absolute least, the firm is likely to face a lengthy courtroom struggle against one of the world's wealthiest and most mercurial individuals, and it won't be easy. Wachtell Lipton hiring on Twitter's part comes just days after Musk's attorneys claimed that Twitter was in breach of the takeover agreement because it had not fully disclosed information about its use of false and spam accounts, often known as bots, in its membership claims. Skadden Arp Slate Meager & Flow LLP is the law firm that represents Musk. Twitter has yet to respond. Wachtell Lipton did not respond to emails requesting comment. Neither did Musk, who tweeted shortly after midnight. They said I couldn't acquire the information, but now they will give us everything. If Twitter wins the case, it could force Musk to buy a company he doesn't want. 
The majority of comparable disputes generally result in settlements that allow plaintiffs and defendants to maintain their dignity, Carl Tobias, Williams Chair in Law at the University of Richmond, told The Guardian. It appears that, if Elon Musk still wants to buy Twitter but is concerned about overpaying, the two sides will settle on a lower price. However, Twitter's institutional investors might resist this. I doubt that the court will get to rule before there is a settlement, and the day-to-day -day price of Twitter will give you some idea of what Musk's side will hope to pay," Professor John Coffey of Columbia University told the publication. And that's it for this video. 